What's up you guys, it's Jono! Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Razer Wolverine Ultimate Controller. This is an Xbox and PC controller. I'll be using it as a PC controller with the beast which you see right there on the right. Now you guys know me, I always buy the absolute best equipment on the market and I like to get the best stuff so I don't have to buy it twice. You always end up getting something cheap and then you have to buy it again because it it just doesn't meet your standard of quality that happens to me all the time so I said to myself what is the absolute best controller on the market for PC and I had to go look around for what they actually use in tournaments that's right you guys I checked out what do they use the most often in tournaments and this is the controller that is used most often by controller players on PC so what are we gonna do with this controller we're gonna play some Minecraft we could do a little bit of overwatch maybe I got some friends who want me to play that and there's a million other things so so yes, I needed a very nice controller for my gaming PC. Let's go ahead and get this thing open. First off, we have a sweet case. This thing comes with a case. Now there is a tournament edition, which is a downgrade from the ultimate edition, interestingly, and that one does not come with a case. I think it's a little bit cheaper because they have to buy dozens of them for tournaments, but this is more for the at-home gamer. This is your one and only controller that you will ever need to buy. It does feature steel parts on the inside and the buttons feel like mechanical buttons they have that little bit of clickiness to them that you expect and of course you can change out all of the different items here you can see the d-pad you can change out and the thumbsticks as well those are all magnetic so they pop in there nice and tight now these are just super high quality you cannot believe how nice they feel on your fingers I'm gonna do some zoom in video but first let's unbox and see everything in inside of the box we got a super premium cable this is the nicest cable I've ever seen on anything now it's not a type C cable not like it needs to be because this isn't for charging fast and it's not for a lot of data so it's got the old micro USB I haven't seen one of those in a little while all the new phones come with something different but this is a really nice lock-in on that USB cable it locks in there nice and tight so yeah that's really nice once I got it plugged in it was pretty good so here we go we got it plugged in that thing is locked in there so securely oh my goodness it felt so snug all right so now once you get it plugged in it turns on all the chroma lighting Ooh, that's gorgeous it is so pretty that's one of the reasons I wanted to get the controller because it does have the great lighting there's other controllers with lighting but they're not as good as this controller so that's why I grabbed that one now all the buttons have that tactile feel the little bit of clickiness you can click them a million times you can click them as fast as you want it just has that little clickiness so it really feels nice when you click down that button and it it just pops right back up immediately that's that mechanical feel I don't know if they're actually mechanical buttons or if they just feel like it but they really do feel like it now a lot of people may be wondering why would you pay this much for a controller that is not as good as the Xbox Elite controller well you would be wrong this is better than the Xbox Elite controller it features much better construction including some steel parts on the inside I found out a lot of the information that I used to distinguish between the two on on Amazon reviews so I went through Amazon reviews and there are some smart people in there and they gave all the reasons why this is a way better controller than the elite including the six paddles you could see four paddles on the back there including the other two that make the six up on the top the two reprogrammable bumpers up on the top so a total of six reprogrammable buttons you get four reprogrammable buttons on the elite controller I do believe now I've never owned the elite controller so I'm not an expert on that controller I was deciding between the two controllers and this is the one that came out with the best reviews as well as the most interesting reviews now the elite controller has a higher star review and it has more reviews but I'm guessing a lot of people weren't willing to make the dive into $150 for an off-brand controller but again this is what they use for tournaments I have to assume if the elite controller was the best controller they would just use it for tournaments right that's what I assumed so that's why I got this controller if it's good enough for the tournament players the best in the world then guess what it's good enough for you boy John O now here we go with those back buttons there's four on the back just like the elite controller and then you get two more reprogrammable bumpers 
up on the top. That's supposed to be pretty advantageous, although I'm not really planning to take advantage of those features. All I've noticed so far is that in Minecraft, I can now jump using my left hand, and I can do other things using my left hand that were only programmed to my right hand. And here we go, you guys. We're just going to peel off that sticker for you. Oh, some people love to see that, so I always include those on my unboxing videos. There you go for people who like that stuff. All right, that was the one sticker that was on there. I think there was another one on the back as well, but... It wasn't as good of a peel, so I cut that one out. Here we go. You can see the magnetic thumbsticks. They are nice and sticky. Not sticky in the gross way where your controllers had yogurt spilled on it, but no, it's actually sticky in that nice way where the magnet just sucks it right down on there. So that's a nice tactile feeling. Everything feels nice on this controller. It has a great ergonomic feel in the hand. I can tell I'm gonna be able to play for hours and hours with this controller and not get any pain in my hand, which sometimes did happen on my old controller. I was using the Amazon Basics controller. I basically went from the the cheapest controller you can possibly get to the most expensive controller you can possibly get but you know I just wanted to try out the basic controller and see if anything went wrong with it and the number one thing that did go wrong with that controller was the stick drift and I looked into a lot of the other controllers like the tournament edition of this controller because it is much cheaper and one of the issues people mentioned was that it gets stick drift and I cannot stand stick drift it really bothers the crap out of me that's when your joystick just keeps on moving you in a direction even though you're not pushing it in that direction and even if you unplug it and replug it it doesn't stop doing it that's what happened to my Amazon basics controller that's why that controller is officially dead to me and you will see it in the garbage by the end of this video if you choose to stick around for that long and yeah I went ahead and just got rid of that thing because the stick drift was getting crazy now this is a really really premium quality package here you got stickers you got a super detailed booklet with all the instructions to program the controller controller and all that stuff that you actually need. It's a very, very advanced controller and it's got a very advanced booklet. So all the stuff that you would expect to see, including the beautiful slim design and just very modern sleek design on everything inside the box. I mean, it's just a very great presentation. This is the highest quality experience I could possibly ask for. And as promised, let's get into my Amazon Basics controller. What to do with my poor controller. You served me well, controller. You really did. But it's time for you to go goodbye in the garbage. See ya! All right, goodbye to the controller. Now, if you guys are wondering where can I get this controller? I highly recommend getting it on Amazon. That's where I got it. I had a little bit of Amazon rewards points because I have the Amazon credit card. And uh, yeah, I do highly recommend having that card because you can put a lot of bills on there and then you get free points. I do it all the time. So I had about 25 or $30 in points. So I got this for about 120, a little bit of a discount just for managing my finances as well. Anyway, you guys, we'll just take a look at the Amazon listing. I know you guys are going to want to see it anyway. So here it is. And you can see all of my recommended products. I spent hours shopping for this and they showed me pretty much every controller you could possibly think of. And I spent probably multiple days shopping for this four hours so I could actually figure out what is the best controller and I did decide that this is the best controller out there for your money it's the same cost as an Xbox Elite controller and there is a new Xbox Elite controller coming out at the time of this video being recorded it is not out yet but it is coming out and you can pre-order it so some people might want to hold out for that controller but I needed a controller now and this is the one that I decided to spend my money on this is my one and only controller I'm gonna have this controller forever it's got a one-year warranty so if it breaks, I'm going to send it back and get a brand new one. Anyway, you guys, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. I do hope that you enjoyed this review. The controller is so much higher quality out of the box than I even expected. And I'm so happy. I couldn't be more happy. Make sure you click the link in the description if you want to go right to the Amazon page so you can get one for yourself. Clicking that link helps support my channel. I do make a little bit of money if you do click that link and make a purchase. I am an Amazon influencer, so you can check out my Amazon influencer page and check out all of my other YouTube equipment that I use. I got a ton of expensive equipment in my studio and I use it all the time to make these videos right here. So you can check out all the stuff that I actually use in my studio on my Amazon Influencer account. That link is also in the description of the video. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Thank you to my amazing subscribers. I hope you enjoyed this video. Drop a like and comment before you go and peace.